Hi there, students. To equivocate, a verb, equivocal, an adjective. So to equivocate is to use ambiguous language. Not to speak clearly, to use words that it's not clear what you mean. Because you want to either hide the truth or because you don't want to commit yourself. So if you don't call a spade a spade, that is where you start to equivocate. When asked a difficult question, a politician will always equivocate. He'll talk about something else. So to equivocate, to try to mislead or deceive somebody by using unclear, ambiguous ways of saying things. Ambiguous. It can be interpreted in different ways. To give an equivocal answer. It's not clear what you mean. How much did you pay for that coat? It was a lot cheaper than I expected, and I had money left over to buy a hat. Yeah, but how much was the coat? The relation between the quality and the price is extremely good. Look, stop equivocating and tell me how much it cost. In English, we use may a lot to equivocate and avoid committing ourselves. I may come to class. I may not. I may go to the party. I may not. I hate it when people equivocate, don't you? I think the British are master equivocators. So to equivocate, to speak or to write in an unclear and non-committal way. The equivocal words made it impossible to draw any conclusions from what he said. When explaining what had happened, he equivocated so as to hide his responsibility, his blame for the disaster. The politician equivocated about his intentions for the future. He didn't say clearly what he was going to do. If you start equivocating when talking to the police, they're going to think that you are guilty of something. So to equivocate, not to speak clearly in order to hide the truth or to avoid committing yourself. Let's see. What about formality? I think I'd probably give this a 7, 7.5 in formality. So use it for something semi-formal or formal. I think informally, um, to, to not speak clearly, not to call a spade a spade. Notice as well, to equivocate is a regular verb. He equivocated when he answered. He's equivocated answering several of the questions. Okay, um, what about the origin? Well, it comes from Latin again. In Old Latin, aequivoco, aequivoco, means I am called by the same name. I have the same name. And in later Latin, that's developed into aequivocus meaning ambiguous okay so the origin's quite clear so to equivocate not to give somebody a clear answer to avoid speaking clearly to use language and ways of saying things that it's not clear if you mean yes or no and that's either because you want to hide something to hide your responsibility or because you don't want to commit yourself. So there you go. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. 
equivocate, equivocal.